we're going to explain how to fix the AVD Manager missing error when setting up an Android emulator. This error usually pops up because the Android SDK command line tools aren't correctly installed or configured in your system's path environment variable. Let's tackle this step by step. One, first, check if you have the Android SDK installed. Look for the Android SDK folder, usually found in your user directory, like tilde Android SDK on Linux Mac OS or C, users, your username, app data, local Android SDKs on Windows. If it's not there, you'll need to download and install the Android SDK from the official Android developer website. Two, next we need to ensure the AVD Manager command is accessible. This command is part of the SDK command line tools. If you only installed the Android Studio IDE and not the command line tools separately, you might be missing it. Open the Android SDK Manager, usually accessible through the Android Studio interface, or by running SDK Manager in the command line if you have already set up the SDK's path variable. 3. In the SDK Manager, locate the Android SDK command line tools package, or a similar package depending on the Android Studio version. Make sure that it's checked for installation. It might be installed already. If so, it's okay to leave it as it is. Install it if necessary, and let the SDK Manager complete the download and installation process. Once finished, restart your IDE or your computer to ensure changes take effect. 4. The crucial step is to add the Platform Tools directory within your Android SDK installation to your system's path environment variable. This allows your operating system to find the AVD Manager executable. The Platform Tools directory is usually located inside the Android SDK folder, for example, tilde Android SDK Platform Tools or C Users, your username, app data, local Android SDKs Platform Tools. The exact method for adding to the path variable differs depending on your operating system, Windows, Mac OS, Linux. Search online for Add to Path Environment Variable, your operating system, for instructions specific to your OS. It's usually a matter of either editing a system environment variable file or using a system settings panel. 5. After adding the path, open a new command line terminal or restart your existing one to refresh the environment variables. Now try typing Avid Manager and hitting Enter. If everything is set up correctly, you should see the AV Manager help information displayed. If you still get an error, double check that you've correctly added the path and ensure that there are no typos in the path. You might also need to try restarting your computer after setting up the path. 6. Once AVD Manager is working, you can create and manage Android Virtual Devices (AVDs) using commands like AVD Manager, Create AVD and My AVD, K System Images, Android 33, Google underscore APIS, X86 underscore 64. Replace My AVD with your AVD name and adjust the system image details as needed. This creates a new AVD. Look up AVD Manager documentation for other options. Seven. If you continue facing problems, ensure your SDK is up to date and try reinstalling both the Android Studio and the SDK components. You might also want to check for any errors in your SDK's logs, which may provide additional clues about what's happening. Remember to replace placeholders like file paths and AVD names with your own actual values.